to Throwback Thursday time with the Red Farm Farm and a group of beautiful alpacas for my birthday. This is April's special birthday I have planned, which is why I'm wearing this shirt and you will soon see. So let's go take a trip down memory lane and go on vacation. Adventure, you say, I'll pack up my bags. Excited to see my spirit animals. It's Throwback Thursday time with April and Mercedes. Hi. Hi. Hey. Yay. So I'm Ashley Rose of Red Barn Farm wishing you a happy birthday. Um, we have four furry friends to help spread some positive vibes and show you some love. I cry anytime I see an alpaca, so they're happy tears. Yay. <laughs> We're going to cry four times because we have four. Oh. This is Ultras wishing you a happy birthday. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Our hair matches! And I love that you made her a sign. Am I the first person who's done a happy birthday alpaca zoom or am I in I in a club of, of alpaca fans? Hmm. Um we actually done a few. We had a birthday for an 11 year old uh the other day and then our second one was a <laughs> but we also did a 78 year old one uh last saturday a bunch of birthdays all different age groups uh alpacas transcend age barriers from youth to middle age to elderly it's like we need to pretend that we're interviewing them and be like Welcome to Throwback Thursdays, Alpaca. <laughs> Our throwback photo from the farm. I'm loving that 80s retro hair vibe going on. It's working. <laughs> Ashley, I must warn you from Red Barn, you have a friend for life, if you like it or not. Ah, no problem. Oh, I don't mind. Oh, this is Dylan. Hi, Dylan. Hi. Oh, Dylan is handsome. Have they been doing any humming today? That's my favorite sound in the world. Actually, I'm in a lot right now. They're coming on cue for you, April. They go, you listen, Mercedes, they go, <laughs> Yeah, they're all humming because they, they think there's time for them to go inside, but not yet. Hercules. Hi, Hercules. I know, April, you're getting turned on by this. Like, alpaca inspired. Yeah. <laughs> there, look, don't I match the mercy? I know. <laughs> oh my Hi. Oh, my oh. spirit animal, I see you. Oh. Is this a place that you work or is this your actual farm? One of, the, one of the reasons why this got started is because I was actually in New York City. I was a product developer uh, for a jewelry company. Uh, my friends who are still quarantined in New York City, send in them pictures of my alpacas, and they all were like, oh, I wish I was there. You're so lucky. And um, then I, that got me thinking, how can I maybe bring some alpacas to people that might need it? And people just feel happier after a session, which is the number one goal. And, you know, I'm just happy to bring some alpaca smiles. Yeah. <laughs> talking to me. I can hear you. I speak alpaca fluently. What do you say? Walk me through a day at the Red Barn. So we uh, we feed them twice a day um, in the morning around like seven or eight, and then uh, they pretty much chill all throughout the day. People that I have to explain the difference. Did you just yawn? Yeah. The difference between an alpaca and a camel, and this is what I always say when someone tries to say, "Oh, aren't they just camels?" I say, "No." Comparing an alpaca to a camel is like comparing a unicorn to a donkey. They, yeah, people compare the alpacas to camels and then even llamas. Um, they think they're the same and I'm like, no, no, no. They're completely different animals. You I'll just, just have them right there. Her face. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Mm. Oh, and a little... Yeah, a little... Right there. Let me, a, little, a little schmutz. Let me get it for you. Oh, okay. there you go. <laughs> And say, April, this is a very unique birthday party. Ah. My second alpaca birthday gift from Mercedes, so we have kind of a running tradition. Yeah. Seems like, like 
such great gal pals to each other. So, yay! Just like those alpacas. Friends oh, of Yeah. The three of us can be the golden girls, right? We love to play games on Throwback Thursday. So, will you play a game with us now? I don't mind. Okay. So, Ashley, since you know so much about alpacas, and so does April, I feel like you guys should have a uh, challenge. Time to play two truths and a lie, y'all. About alpacas. Who wants to go first? Me. Oh, April. Go ahead. Alpacas prefer to be alone as when they are in large groups, it can cause them anxiety. Okay. Number two, there is a type of gallop that they do uh, when they are happy or excited, and it is called, called pronking. Number Pronky. three, when an alpaca is comfortable and happy, they do something communicating with each other called humming, and it sounds like this. <laughs> okay. I would say the first one is a lie. Right, because I've educated you well. What's the truth? The truth is that they love being together. And they get lonely. So they don't like to be alone. They need to be in pairs. All right. I hope you guys out there got that. Okay, Ashley, what do you got for us? Two truths, one lie. Two truths, one lie. There are two types of alpacas, Surrey and Wakana. Okay. The second one, they are part of the Camelid family. And the third one, do not originate from Peru. Tied as the lie is number one or number three. I think I'm gonna go with number three is the lie. That, because they do, do originate from Peru. I know there's a lot of alpacas in Peru, but did they really? Okay, I'm gonna go with that too. Yay, smart yes. cookies. They, uh, they do originate in Peru. Um, there are two types of alpacas. Um, Ultras is a Wakana, and um, Biawi and Dylan are Surrey, and they are from the Camelid family. Nice. It has swagger. It's like, I'm a Wakana alpaca. Where are you from? Yeah, it sounds like a name from Star Wars or something. Or yeah. The Wakana. The Wakana. What are those things called? Wakana. Wookie? I think of Wookie Talkies. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Hopefully we don't have any Star Wars fans out there. <laughs> You're so cute. Look at him. You want to add to your birthday journey, April? No, just thank you. You're out here every day taking care of these beautiful animals and trying to make people's day brighter. Oh, that's so amazing. Thank you so much, Ashley at Red Barn Farm. We really enjoyed it since we can't really celebrate during these times. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. I'm glad I got to bring some positive alpaca smile. Very happy birthday to April. Thank you, thank you. Didn't you feel like they were looking at you? Yeah, I did. They were like paying attention. Yeah, like that's why they're different. They could see our face. They, I think they have facial recognition. Yeah, so I felt like like I could see them and they could see me. So it is a cool idea if someone's at home and they can't get out and they just need to be, you know, have something to cheer them up. Like who would not be cheered up by that? Happy birthday, babe. Cheers. Thank you. Love you. Love you too. It's your birthday. You can do what you want to. Do what you want to. Do what you want to. Oh.